Dear students, today our topic is Faraday law of electrolysis. Now, what is electrolysis? Electrolysis is the phenomena of passing electricity with the help of electrode in an electrolytic solution in which cation moves to cathode and anion moves to anode. Electrolysis, we have two electrodes and they are supplied with DC current. Negative terminal attached to cathode and positive terminal attached to anode. Anode is positively charged in electrolysis. Electrolysis means passing of electricity with the help of electrode in electrolytic solution, causing chemical changes. Suppose we have one electrolyte. Now what is electrolyte? Electrolyte is acid, base and salt is electrolyte. Suppose we have aqueous solution of NaCl. This is electrolyte. Cation will move to cathode and will deposit here. And anion will move to anode and chlorine gas will be liberated. Now, how much electricity is passed through these electrode will deposit the larger amount of cation. As the number of charge transferred to this electrode increases, the weight of cation deposited also increases. So weight deposited at cathode is directly proportional to charge supplied. Weight is deposit, weight is directly proportional to charge supplied. Faraday first law of electrolysis. Weight deposited is directly proportional to charge supplied. Now what is current? Current is charge per unit time or charge is current into time. Charge is current into time. So weight deposited is directly proportional to charge supplied or weight is directly proportional to I into T, current into time. Now, removing the, this constant of proportionality, we will use Z. And Z is electrochemical constant. We are studying chapter electrochemistry. So this constant is electro chemical constant Z. Faraday first law of electrolysis. This is Faraday first law of electrolysis. The weight deposited is directly proportional to charge supplied. Now, what is Faraday second law of electrolysis? We have to do numerical on the basis of Faraday's second law of electrolysis. We don't have to find Z. In Faraday's second law of electrolysis, as you know, the weight deposited is directly proportional to charge supplied. Now what Faraday said? Faraday said, one mole electron charge is equal to one Farad. That is equal to 96500. The charge of one mole electron is one Farad, that is 96500 Coulomb. That is 96477 Coulomb. But to ease the calculation, we take 96500 Coulomb. Weight deposited is directly proportional to charge supplied. So what Faraday said, Faraday said one farad of electricity. If one farad of electricity is passed through this solution, one equivalent of any substance, one equivalent is deposit at cathode. So, what is equivalent? First of all, we will understand equivalent weight. Equivalent weight, equivalent weight is atomic weight by valency factor. Atomic weight, suppose magnesium is going to deposit. The atomic weight of magnesium is 24 and the oxidation state is valency factor. So, its equivalent weight is 12. Similarly, aluminium plus 3 has equivalent weight of 27. 27 is atomic weight of aluminium and 3 is valency factor. So, equivalent weight of aluminium is 9. Zinc, zinc is plus 2. ZnSO4, ZnCl2, zinc is plus 2. 
Zinc has atomic weight of 65 and valency factor is 2. Copper plus 2. 63.5 divided by 2. Silver plus 1. 108 by 1. This is equivalent weight. Atomic weight by valency factor is equivalent weight. So what Faraday says that one farad of electricity will deposit one equivalent of any metal. If you pass one farad of electricity, one mole electron in the solution, one equivalent weight of any metal will deposit. So one farad will deposit one equivalent. Now we can find valency factor by three ways. Valency factor. First, oxidation state of element. Sodium has plus one. Magnesium is plus two. Aluminium plus three. Zinc is plus two. Copper is plus two. Then, change in oxidation state. Change in oxidation state is also valency factor. MnO4 minus potassium per magnet in acidic medium forms Mn plus 2. The oxidation state changes from plus 7 to plus 2. The difference in oxidation state is 5. The difference in oxidation state is also valency factor. Yeah, change in oxidation state is also valency factor. Then, number of H positive given by acid a number of OH negative given by a base is also called valency factor. SCL has valency factor of 1, whereas H2SO4 has valency factor of 2. Oxalic acid, very important, oxalic acid has valency factor of 2, it can give 2 electron, sorry, 2 protons. So now we can find the valency factor. Oxidation state, change in oxidation state or number of H positive given by acid is valency factor. We can also find the equivalent weight. Suppose we have to find equivalent weight of chloride ion. Chlorine has atomic weight of 35.5 and its valency factor is 1. Oxygen is minus 2. The equivalent weight of oxygen, atomic weight is 16 and valency factor is 2. We have to take the positive magnitude of the charge to find equivalent weight. Now what is Faraday's second law? Faraday's second law is very useful for finding numerical questions on the on, uh, on Faraday law topic. Faraday, we have to do numerical on the basis of Faraday's second law, not first law. We do not have to find Z. Now what is second law? So according to Faraday's second law, one farad of electricity will deposit one equivalent. Then Q charge will deposit how much weight? One farad is 96500. This much electricity will deposit one equivalent. One equivalent is atomic weight by valency factor. Now charge is represented as current into time or WT is weight deposited. This is Faraday second law of electrolysis formula. You have to use this formula. Now, one farad, you know what is one farad, that is 96500 electron, the charge of one mole electron is one farad. This much charge will deposit one equivalent. You also know how to find equivalent weight. Aluminium has equivalent weight of 9, 27 by 3. Zinc has 65 by 2. Copper is 63.5 by 2. Magnesium is 24 by 2, 12. So then you know this term 96500 that is equal to 1 farad. You can find this. Now what the question will ask he will, he will give you the charge and you have to find the weight or he will give you the weight or you have to find the charge. You, can, you knows one farad and you can find one equivalent then weight is given, charge will be asked or charge will be given, weight will be asked. 
Similarly, in this formula, current, time and weight. There are three variables, current, time and weight. He will give weight and time and will ask you the current. He can give current and time then ask you for the weight or he will give weight or current and ask for time. The important thing is that time, you have to take time in second, not in minute, not in hour. If it is given in minute, multiply it by 60. And if the time is given, suppose the time is given 2 hours, then 2 into 60 into 60, put the time in second. You have to put the current in ampere, not milliampere. If milliampere is given, multiply it by 10 to the power minus 3. And weight, as usual, weight should be given or find in gram. So this is our second law of electrolysis, Faraday's second law for doing numericals. First question, calculate the mass of silver deposited from silver nitrate solution by a current of 2 ampere flowing for 30 minutes. Suppose we have solution of silver nitrate. Silver nitrate will break Ag plus and NO3 minus. Now electrodes is placed in the solution and silver will be deposited at cathode. As the electricity passes, silver will deposit on this electrode. Now, we have to write the Faraday second law of electrolysis. 1 Farad 96500 will deposit 1 equivalent, then Q charge. Q charge, charge can be written as current into time will deposit how much weight of silver. Now what is the equivalent weight of silver? The equivalent mass of silver is given that is 108. Atomic weight of silver is 108 and valency factor is also 1. So 108 by 1 is 108. So 96500 that is equal to 108. Current is 2 ampere and time is 30 minutes to 30 into 60 or this is WT weight deposited. Solve this, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now 3, 3 ja 9, 3, 2 ja 6. Suppose 1, then 6, 6, 5 ja 30, 6, 3 ja 18, it is around 53. 53 is almost 2 ja. 106, weight here and multiply 2 here, that is equal to 4 gram. So answer will be around 4 gram. First write this formula for solving any question of Faraday law. Any question can be solved by this formula. This one single formula. A current of 10 ampere is passed through a molten AlCl3 for 96.5 seconds. 96500 will deposit, aluminium will deposit. The equivalent weight of aluminium is 27 by 3. Now current into time and weight deposited. Current is given 10 ampere. 96500 current is 10 ampere and time is 96.5 equivalent weight is 9 we have to find the weight 96.5 this point is cancelled by 10 965 965 this is 100 so weight is equal to 9 by 100 that is equal to 0 0.09 gram the correct answer is 0 0.09 gram. 
द मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ क्लोरिन वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन द मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ क्लोरिन प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द इलेक्ट्रोलिस ऑफ मोल्टन एन ए सी एल विथ अ करेंट ऑफ वन एम्पियर फॉर फिफ्टीन मिनट वन फेराड नाइन सिक्स फाइव डबल जीरो विल डिपॉजिट वन इक्वलेंट एंड वन इक्वलेंट ऑफ क्लोरिन इज थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव अपॉन वन करेंट ऑफ वन एम्पियर is passed for 15 minute 15 into 60 find the weight deposited this 0 0 6 1 6 6 6 या 36 suppose 160 approx 160 take it 160 now 5 3 या 15 5 3 या 15 5 2 या 10 then weight 35.5 into 5 35.5 into 3 upon 32 so we have find the weight 3 almost tanja 30 almost tanja so weight is approximately 3.55 gram this is weight of chlorine now during the electrolysis chlorine is released in the form of cl2 chlorine molecule weight is 3.55 g molecular weight of chlorine is 71 g per mole so mole is weight weight is 35.3.55 a molecular weight is 71 3.55 divided by 71 ye point hatega this point will become 10 this 1 that is equal to 1 by 20 the mole of chlorine is 1 by 20 now we have to find the molecule one mole has 6 into 10 is power 23 molecule so this much mole is having this much molecule 0 22 And three, three into ten raised to power twenty-two. Three into ten raised to power twenty-two. Three point three five seventy-one. Two ja one by twenty. Three into ten raised to power twenty-two molecule. Six into ten raised to power twenty-three. 3 into 10 to the power 22. We have done something wrong here. 96500 into 15 into 60 is equal to 35.5 and weight deposited 0 0 6 1 6 6 6 36. Zero. We have missed one zero here. Yes, we have missed one zero. Okay, one zero. So this is equal to five three ja fifteen five three ja fifteen five two ja ten zero. Ye three is almost three one ja or three six ja one hundred six. So weight is thirty five point five divided by one zero six. Take it 105, 57 35, 52 10, 1 7, 1 7 3 ja. So weight is 1 by 3. 1 by 3 by 71. So 1 by 3 into 71 into 6 into 10 to the power 23. 3 2 ja 6. Yes 70. 70 is 22. 2 by 7. 2 by 7 into 10 to the power 22. This is 20 and 10 to the power 21. 7 almost 3 ja. So the uh, correct answer is A. Yes. Correct answer is A. 
amount of electricity in terms of farad required to produce 20 gram of calcium from molten CaCl2. One farad will deposit one equivalent of calcium and one equivalent of calcium is 40 by 2 because it has oxidation state of plus 2. So its equivalent weight is 20, 40 by 2 is 20. Now we have to find the charge in terms of farad. The option is given in terms of farad. If 20 gram of calcium is deposited, so weight deposited is 20, 20, 20, then Q is equal to 1 farad. So 1 farad of electricity is required to deposit 20 gram of calcium. The correct answer is B. How much electricity in terms of farad is required to deposit 40 gram of aluminium. One farad deposit one equivalent of aluminium. Now equivalent, equivalent weight of aluminium is 27 by 3 that is equal to 9. The equivalent weight of aluminium is 9. One farad deposit one equivalent. Then how much electricity is required to deposit 40 gram? 40 upon 9 farad is equal to Q. This much electricity is required to deposit 40 gram of aluminium. 9 4 is 36. This is 4.44 farad. How many hours? How many hours does it take to reduce 3 mole of Fe plus 3 to Fe plus 2 with 2 ampere of current? First of all, we have to write the formula of second law of electrolysis. 1 farad, 1 equivalent, equivalent weight is atomic weight by valency factor, then current into time is weight deposited. 3 mole of Fe plus 3. 1 mole of iron has weight of 56, 3 mole matlab, 3 into 56. 1 farad means 96500. Current, current of 2 ampere or time, we have to find the time. In this formula, time will come in seconds and then we will divide it by 3600 to find it in hours because option is also given in hours. Atomic weight, atomic weight of iron is 56. Now what is valency factor here? The important thing is valency factor. Fe plus 3 convert to Fe plus 2. There is change in oxidation state of 1. So valency factor is 1. Now weight deposited. Weight deposited is 3 mole of iron. That is 3 into 56. 56, 56. Time required is 96500 into 3 by 2. This is the time required in second. This is required in minute. And this much required in hours. 1, 2, 1, 2, 6, 1, ja 6, 6, 6, ja 36, 6, 0, ja. Then 2, 80, ja. 3, 2, ja. And 2, 40. The time required is around 40 hours. So 40.2 hours is the time required. 0 0.36 gram of a metal is deposited on the electrode. So weight deposited is given 96500. 1.2 ampere of current. 15 minute is 15 into 60. The atomic weight of metal is 96. Find its valency. You have to find the valency factor or the charge on the metal ion. Now, weight deposited is also given. Weight deposited is 0 0.36. This 0, this 0. Then 6, 
वन जा सिक्स 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 जा थर्टी सिक्स ज़ीरो ज़ीरो अप्रॉक्स फाइव थ्री जा फिफ्टीन फाइव थ्री जा फिफ्टीन फाइव टू जा टेन ये ज़ीरो थ्री ट्वेंटी इंटू ज़ीरो पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स वन पॉइंट टू इंटू थ्री दैट इज इक्वल टू नाइन्टी सिक्स बाई एक्स दिस पॉइंट अपॉन हंड्रेड थ्री वन जा टू जा ये पॉइंट इंटू टेन ये ट्वेल्व ये ट्वेल्व एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइन्टी सिक्स टेन इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी टेन इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी इंटू यस नाइन्टी सिक्स एक्स 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 इंटू हंड्रेड दिस हंड्रेड गोज हियर एक्स गोज देयर टेन इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी जीरो 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 और थर्टी टू इज ऑलमोस्ट थ्री जा द वेलेंसी फैक्टर और द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑफ मेटल इज थ्री नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन A hundred watt, two twenty volt lamp is connected in series with a electrolytic cell containing copper sulphate solution. So we have copper sulphate solution here and passing electricity the weight of copper deposited for five hours. वन फेराड वन फेराड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज नाइन सिक्स फाइव डबल जीरो इक्वलेंट वेट ऑफ कॉपर इज सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव टेक इट सिक्सटी फोर फॉर कैलकुलेशन सिक्सटी फोर बाई टू बिकॉज कॉपर सल्फेट सल्फेट इज माइनस टू एंड कॉपर इज प्लस टू सो वैलेंसी फैक्टर इज टू देन द करेंट वी हैव टू फाइंड द करेंट नाउ पावर इज इक्वल टू वोल्टेज इन टू करेंट पावर हो गया हंड्रेड एंड वोल्टेज इज टू ट्वेंटी Now we have have to find the current. Current is hundred divided by two twenty. Current is ten upon twenty two. Now the time. Time is five r. Five into sixty into sixty. This is weight deposited. Ye zero. Ye zero. Ye zero. Ye zero. Nine six five into twenty two. Six into six into five into ten. This is equal to thirty two and weight deposited. Six one ja six 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 ja thirty six. Yeah zero. Zero and zero cancelled. Five almost three ja fifteen five two ja. 3.2, 32 and 32. Now send weight here. Weight is equal to 6 into 10. 60 comes in numerator and then 22 in denominator. This is nearly about. Two point six nine. Two point six nine four gram. Next question: How many moles of mercury? The formula will give you the weight. So we will find weight first. Nine six five double zero. The mass of mercury is two hundred, and its valency factor is plus two here. Mercury nitrate Ag Hg NO3 hold twice. This will give two nitrate minus iron minus two. Mercury will be plus two. So the equivalent weight of mercury is 200 by two. Now current is two ampere and time is three hours three into sixty into sixty. Zero 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 zero. Divided by six, six one ja six, six six ja thirty six. It is zero. Two one eighty three six ja eighteen zero or six ten ja two hundred 
to 100 the weight is equal to around 10 gram we have to find the mole mole is weight divided by molecular weight or atomic weight of mercury 10 divided by 200 so mole is 1 by 20 1 by 20 point zero 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 one by twenty is one by hundred hmm. one more time let's do it one more time one farad is nine six five double zero current is 2 ampere for 3 r 3 into 60 into 60 equivalent weight of mercury is 100 200 by 2 the weight deposited we have to find the weight deposited 2020 this is 60 now weight deposited is 2 multiply this whole term here 2 into 3 into 60 into 60 and 965 this is weight deposited now we have to find the mole mole is weight divided by atomic weight atomic weight is 200 0 0 0 0 2 and 2 3 3 ja 9 3 2 ja 6 fit 2 ja 6 fir 6 5 ja 30 or 6 4 ja 24 2 3 ja 6 2 2 ja 4 2 7 ja 14 and 3 9 ja 27 so this is around 1 by 9 mole 1 by 9 is ha, this is the right answer 0 0.112 mole